And ordinarily, you would you would expect me to use a white uh, on some of the light areas, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do something different this time. I'm starting to use a grey. This is a light grey 230. I've decided to go down the route of the blue hue. That's about right. That's got that. And then the 233. Go around the edges there. To start off with. And then we'll fill it in. Okay, now start by putting our stopping point in, which I always do. So that'll be going down to that. That will be this in this case. Normally it's white, isn't it? But in this case it's going to be very dark. And um, then we put the grey in there. I'll just do one ear and the other one will be almost the same and certainly the same colours. Slightly different design but you'd be able to work it out. In fact the black cat is going to be very much repetitious all the way through. So I'm not going to be spending a great deal of video time on this because once you've seen it, the black fur, you can work it out for yourselves. But um, this is quite important to start off. Now that's the, the basic idea. Now it's, it's quite dark in here, although I put the light on, there's quite a lot of depth in there. So I want to close up on that a little bit. Like that. And just before we get too dark, I'm going to put some oak, uh, pink in. I'm using 132. I don't know whether I'm going to need anything stronger. I, I did get a 131 out, which is a bit stronger than this, so I might need it, but I'm, I'm not so sure. Now that's as light as it's going to get. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the 181 and I'm going to go around. Now you don't want to see me do all this, so if I just do a little bit, that's now darkening that. But we can't put it on there because it's too dark. So we now will gradually close in on some of that area there. Okay, I wanted just a little bit of light poking through here and everywhere else is gonna be dark. Now that, that's the 181. And the next color I'll be using is uh, 157. Now one part, don't want to put too much of this on. This is a blue. It's a greyish blue. And I think it'll look great with it. And then I'm going to use the black. Okay, I'll just do this little bit. And the black goes on. And that is the finishing colour. When I say that, I think probably it's likely in some places I, I might well put the blue back in again because I want the blue hue. But that is the colour, folks. That's what I'm looking for. Now, I'll complete the rest of this using exactly the same situation. You can come back when I'm almost done and I'll show you how it's finished off. But that is it really. Right, I'm just completing the black now, having put all those other colours on. And you see it looks a little bit bitty at the moment, but once we put the colour shaper on that in a minute and we go back in with the other colours, it will be much better. Now, I'm just going to use the colour shape. I'm using the grey one. And I'm going to use the... You'll see there's quite a lot of dust on there. Now, I've got to be careful. I don't want to expand this beyond the picture. But it's an idea to have some of that dust, rather than just blow it away, to use it. And we're going to do that all the way through the picture. You see how that's much better. Now obviously there's going to be some of that I'm going to have to get rid of. But this is an advantage because now you can use the colour shaper on those lighter areas. We can always bring back the pink. But that is really working out really nicely. Lovely. And I think there's a time to go. 
You see how nice that is there. That really does look really special. Now, there is not a lot of hair here, but we've got a little bit. So let's just put a little bit of the, the pink back in again, just to lighten it up just a touch. Now, although I've used the um, color shaper there, I'm also going to use the gray and all the other colors as well that I've used. Um, the gray, first of all, because we want a little bit of light in. See, there's no need for white there at all. It would have been too stark. But that looks really nice. That's coming along. And anywhere where we want to just put a little bit of light, we can then put it into a dark color. In other words, reshaping this very slightly. It's great fun. You're going to enjoy this. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of the blue back. 157. And that you can see, I hope you can see that, it gives it a really nice glow there. Now that's the colour that we put in between the 181 and the black. But now we're putting it back on top to give us that extra little bit of tone. Lovely. There's not a lot more I can do with that. I'm going to leave it as it stands because it's really close to the reference picture I've got. Okay, now I'm going to do this here the same. There is just a little more though, just just um, to show you this. There's a little bit more light in here, so I'm going to put just a touch of white in. It wasn't in this here, but there is in this one. Now just a little bit of light in here. Then use the grey. The white really just acts as a, just that little bit of brightening that we get. And then we do the, the same thing again. Just a little bit more here and here. Because it's all black, we've got to make it best use of any areas like this that does show just a little bit of light and then the pink like that okay now the rest of it is as you see here so there's no no need to see me do it all over again i start off with the gray and then follow that with 181 157 and black. So leave me to do that now. Once again, we have our stopping points here. This is the area where it's very dark on the cat's fur, just as it was over on the other side. Right. Now I've put all the black, all the blue, and all the 181 on. Now I'm just using the blender as you saw on the other ear, to blend that in. Best to blend all the, the dark colour before you start going into the lighter shades. Now good, and then you can bring the colour in. When you first do this, it's a bit scary because you know, it's mudging, basically, and you can look Little bit of a sight, but as you see on the other side, looks really good there. And there's a couple of things I've done on that, which I'll show you in a minute. So that looks great. Blow the dust away, and then we bring back. Now we've got to bring back the lighter color again. So I'm going to start with the gray, and well, obviously there are hairs in the air, but they, they're not that obvious. And being black, I suppose it's going to be difficult to see. But you've got to kind of imagine that they are there. So I'm going to make a lot of this up. Okay. Then we want the pink again in there. A little pink. And I'm going to introduce, I, I wasn't sure whether I would or not, you know what I know, I'll introduce this colour. And this is like a greyish, and let's put some in here as well, because I don't want it to be too far.
foreign. We still use the pink, 132, but that 168, and sorry, 169, is a really good colour, and I think, uh, yep, like it. Okay, so now we can come back in with the, the blue, a little bit more blue in there, just as I did on the other one. And now I'm going to use the white. Now, we put the white in originally on a couple of little hairs like that, so we'll put a few more in. This is what I did on here. You've got to have a sharp pencil for this, but it does look really, really attractive. But also a couple of dark ones in. Let's use 181 for this. Combination of the two. Lovely. That's it. Now, I've put some in here. Let's just put a few more. about it. A touch of 181 I think is better really than the black in here. Now when you've finished it, when you're happy with it, just run over the very edge of the ear again with the black, just as a final, I'm not going to touch this again job. I did that with this one and it just a little bit of sparkle back into it. Now I think that looks really good. Can return. I can return to that at any time I want to, if I feel that the need. But I'm, at the moment, I'm pretty happy with it. So, next thing is top of the head. 